I am rubber, you are glue. Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. In the last episode, we finally got our hands on LeChuck's secret spell. The spell which hopefully will get us back to the land of the living. There it is right there, if we have another look at it. It's the spell LeChuck used to escape back into the living world. Yeah, it seems we have to do some sacrificing and offer some stuff to the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. Uh, a guide, an anchor, some courage, and a sacrifice. So, I had a couple of ideas at the end of last episode. I think some of them are quite obvious. Let's head back to the crossroads center and uh, see if my uh, inclinations were correct. So let's go back. Can't click that one yet. No, I really want to know when that's going to be clickable because I think it will be. Or maybe I'm just completely wrong. Who knows? Is Galeb back as well? He ran off somewhere. No, nope, he's gone still. Creepy. Okay, so here is the crossroads center. I'm thinking. Uh, oh crap! Hang on. What was it again? It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. So, the journey is confusing. Something must guide your way, and you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come, and a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we can definitely do anchor because we have the. Oh, that's not the right button. Whoops. We have the jeweled anchor right here. Let's plop that down. Anchors away. Check. All right, so that goes in that quadrant. Next up, I think grog is going to be the courage one. One bottle of liquid courage. Check. There we go, Liquid Courage indeed. Uh, what was the other ones? Guide and Sacrifice. So, should we try Guide Dog? Like, maybe? I don't know. Let's try Let's try Franklin. Something to find your way. Check. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Good dog. Okay. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? Uh, I don't know. I hope Franklin's going to be alright and it's not going to kill him during this weird sacrificial ceremony. I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, let's see, I would think a sacrifice in my name, I mean we do have our own shred of life. Do I need to go... <laughs> Ooh, actually, I was joking but maybe we do need to get the gravestone. Can we pick up the gravestone? Because it's got our name on it, if it's going to be that literal. Let's just try the shred of life first because I think... Maybe that would be something. I'm not supposed to sacrifice myself. I think someone else needs to make a sacrifice for me. Done. Okay, anything else? I mean, we have the spirit photo, but that's not got our name on it. A photo of my spirit. They say the... Oh, yeah, we've already heard that. Let's pop that on there, just see. Nope. Nope, okay. Uh, that's kind of it, really. Oh. <laughs> I know what it's going to be. What says Guybrush's name? The stupid little parrots, isn't it? <sighs> Alright, back to that puzzle. I thought I could get away with not doing that, but I guess we kind of have to. Hmm. There must be something really obvious that I'm just not getting with that, that sign that they land on. Let's go back there. We need something to make it sticky or something that will trap them or... I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, I don't think there's any way I can catch these parrots right now. Maybe later. Oh, but I, I, I need them right now. That's definitely going to be the last part of the of the um, the puzzle. It's just too obvious, right? How am I going to do that, though? Does this guy have any advice? How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! Anything to do with your sign? Oh, we could tell him we found a, a spell. Would he care about that? I found a voodoo spell to get me out of the crossroads. Well, aren't you special, Mr. Too Good to Stay Dead like the rest of us? I need these ingredients. Seen anything around that fits these descriptions? I don't know. I've dug up a lot of treasure here. It's possible one of those things may be around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm way ahead of you, guy. I've already stole your anchor and used it, so... Bye. Uh, he's not helping us. Something... I don't know, what's something sticky or something... Hmm. I know that back here at the gateway there was the water. 
And I'm sure Guybrush said it was slimy. Maybe that will do the trick? Let's have a look. It's this one right here. It's wet and slimy. Reminds me of my old pet salamander, Mr. Wiggly. Can we scoop some of that up? Mmm, no. Oh, I really thought that would be a good idea. Like, slimy, liquid, I don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe not here, then. Maybe I need to do some sleuthing. We definitely don't need our gravestone. Guy Brush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Wait, was someone implying that I have mites? <laughs> I mean, all the stuff we've been through, we probably have had mites at some point. Okay, no, I don't think that's the right thing to do. We can't even go up there. So, yeah, I'm going to go and wander around, see if there's anything I missed. Do some good old pixel hunting, and I'll come back if I find anything. Perhaps we need to tell Morgan of our spell discovery. Hey, you. What's up? Here we go. I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great! How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? Yeah, that's the only one we got left. Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. What does that mean, though? I've already done that. No! Uh, uh, yeah, I still need it. Hey, Mo, I still need one more thing for the Crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I I don't see anything. Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that... is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well, okay. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell. Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Hey! Huh. That's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no! I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. You just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. You wish me luck. Ah, ah! Why won't this thing open? Elaine, get over here and help me. I've spent months getting those mangy voodoo cursed monkeys into place so I could conjure up the entrance to the crossroads. I won't be thwarted now. Oh, come on. I broke your spirit, not your back. Get over here and push. You know, you didn't have to actually kill him. And why not? Do you know the number of times that bony buccaneer has killed me? Look. I let you catch me, and I played along with your stupid nice guy act because I thought that it would get Guybrush to realize that the voodoo Do lady was- Do not mention that woman in my presence. That cursed voodoo witch will control my fate no more. Now that I have La Esponja Grande, I can use it to suck pure, unlimited voodoo energy directly from the source. I will become the demon pirate god, and you will be my goddess. 
And this time, there will be no Guybrush Threepwood to spoil our wedding plans. <laughs> what was that? Yes, that's it! Elaine? What's going on here? Guybrush? I'll tell you what's going on here. You've lost! I now have full access to the unlimited voodoo power of the crossroads themselves! This is my moment of ultimate triumph! So, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, would you like to RSVP for the wedding now or later? Oh, blimey. Okay. Wow, LeChuck looks really cool. Uh, you won't get away with this, LeChuck. If I ask real nice, we go away. Quake in fear, LeChuck. Uh, yeah, the bottom one. Quake in fear, LeChuck. Before you stands the man who tore open the crossroads themselves. You opened the crossroads. <laughs> then I suppose I have to thank you for doing my bidding for a second time. Uh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, why didn't you just get the merfolk to get a Sponja Grande? Uh, so you admit, I am better than you. Why not just get the Sponja Grande yourself? Two chicken to get the sponge and the le leviathan yourself. Lots of sponge questions. Uh, let's not focus on the sponge straight away. Let's just say this. So you admit, I am better than you. You are the only living soul that can do that, uh, you know. Boy, was my face red when La Esponja Grande turned out to be so small. But then you took right care of that, didn't you? <laughs> uh, we got played. We got played. The video lady told me about the sponge. The video lady wouldn't have tricked me. The video lady gave me the beginning spell. Uh, what if she did trick us? I mean, we say she wouldn't have tricked us, but who knows anymore? What is what is the truth? But she did tell us about the sponge. The voodoo lady the said. Voodoo lady? By the way, does anyone know if she has a name? It feels weird just calling her voodoo lady. But I'll be taking care of her soon too. <laughs> I have infused the Cutlass of Kaflu with demonic power that no mortal can touch. Hmm. This weapon that was designed to destroy me will ultimately set me free when I use it to slay the woman who has locked you and I in this perpetual loop of fate. Isn't that right, Elaine? Yes. And we shall slay her together. Make me your demon bride. What? My demon bride. Kind of gets you all choked up in here, doesn't it? Face it, Threepwood. The Chuck has more power than any pirate could possibly dream of. And besides, you're dead now. Well, so is he. I'm sorry, Guybrush. Wonder Bunny! No! <laughs> Elaine is mine! And yet here you are, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me! Give it your best stab! What is going on right now? I thought the way she was looking then, Elaine, maybe this is some plan she's got, but now she's literally possessed. She's possessed by the demon voodoo spirit and we've lost her. We've lost her, can we move around? We can a little bit, yeah. Well, let's start looking around. Back off, Boney. I'm a pirate. You guys aren't so tough. If I had a weapon, I'd take you all on. Hmm. 
So you guys aren't much for conversation, huh? Can we climb up the mast? Let's keep the ceremony. That's the mast. <laughs> that was random. Uh, can we take this sword, the enchanted cutlass of Kaflu, all the way from the first episode? Ha! Prepare to meet your. Oh, come on! Problem? Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a fleshless spectre. Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. But I was gonna use that to save you and kill the Chuck again. It ain't so easy being a ghost now, is it, Mr. Freepwood? Well, that's how I felt all those years ago, when I was a simple ghost pirate roaming the seas. And now, you are about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer! Uh, Lady Pooh? Let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this! <laughs> Guybrush, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? She... she stabbed me. What? Elaine, she's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes and then chose him. They're gonna take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the Seven Seas. But what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on Elaine. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass. But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait. That sounds kind of familiar. The voodoo lady's locket. Find the locket, find your body. And then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Yes! I still have no clue what rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you gonna do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Morgan! Thanks. Wow, they're very, uh, they're very frequent, aren't they? These boats, great service. Okay, uh, well, that could have gone better, couldn't it? That definitely could have gone better, but <laughs> somehow I knew we'd end up back here. There's still lots of things we haven't used, like the spirit photo, which now makes sense. We're going to use it in the locket. We have um, the pyrite parrot still. We, we're definitely going to need them. I feel like, um, yeah. Well, great. Maybe the, maybe old, um, what's his face? Galib, that's his name. Maybe he'll pop back up again at some point in the future. Who knows? Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!